Wing Commander 3 was mostly green screen, which modern audiences are so sophisticated now from watching all those making of specials on TV, as you know, or even on your local weathercasts. With a blue or a green screen, you can talk about the warm fronts coming in and, and put it anything you want behind when the newsreader had the pictures come behind him. In Wing 3, all of our sets were like that. So virtually everything was covered with green and they'd pop in a slide and you'd go look at the monitor to see exactly where you were. were. Here, as you can see, they've built sets and it's on 35 millimeter film. It's closer to a motion picture than the last one. Even though the last one, I thought, to me, I, I loved the challenge of the green screen, you know? I mean, instead of being intimidated by it, I just flew into it. And, I mean, I had some uh, experience knowing what it's going to be like to uh, be working with special effects. They couldn't get me out of the art department. I had to see every model. I had to see the drawings. I mean, I'm sure I drove everyone crazy, but uh, they'd say, where's Mark? We need him on set. And they'd say, oh, he's up in Stuart Freeborn's office watching him make Yoda skin. But all of it fascinates me, you know? I guess. Uh, uh, Acting is fun, and I do enjoy it, but I want to do a little bit of everything. I guess the union.